Hello guys, it's Gmax from Gmax Studios and we are at the part 4 of this retouching series and today we are going to be looking at how to um, do your dodge and burn on this beautiful image or generally we are going to be learning um, dodge and burn, the global dodge and burn method so straight into retouch academy I will just click on my dodge and burn curve I told you we are going we are going to be using the retouch academy today and then um quickly i'm just for me i don't use the visual aid or uh, i delete that off i'm going to just be using uh, my dodge and bond then there's an extra that i use for my dodge and bond i go pick up my black and white why I love using my black and white is because it lets me see where my highlights are falling and where my shadows are falling. And I can control how much I would want to see this um, effect of the light falling. So once I move um, my red a bit backward, it enhances where my lights are falling. So if I were to want, if I were to just work on my harsh lights, I can quickly do that with this. Well, I will not want to do that. I will just keep it at this and I'm fine. So I'll go to my dodge and burn. And then I'll be using my brush. Now this is a new method I learned before I used to reduce my opacity for my mixer brush for my dodge and burn. But recently I noticed that I would have to struggle a lot due to get that result I want. So I had to switch. And then now I use my flow. So I reduce my flow to about let's say 6. 6 is fine. And then opacity 100. And then we brush. So for me, I will want to start with my bone. Now, in most cases, you want to off your frequency separation. Why? Because you would want to see where your lights are falling. If you notice, if my frequency separation is on, you will notice that to an extent the details here were washed away and some other areas. So for me to be able to get those details back and see what I'm actually doing is for me to off my frequency separation layer so that I will restore back those um the lights and all that was being taken away during frequency separation. So I will off and then I would start work. So if I were to start on the face of using my, my bone, I would just want to brush. I would just want to brush. Okay, so I'll be burning the shadows and I'll be dodging the highlights. So whenever you see your dodge and burn layers, you would want to know that the burn is for your shadows and the dodge is for your highlights. So quickly, let's burn. So I would want to apply my burn all the way up here. I'm following where my lights are falling. I want to stay guided. In most cases, I would always want to still go down a bit. I want to see more of that depth. Later, I could come back and reduce it. I want to work on those very deep darks first. So I don't miss out on any details. Now remember that your white reveals your black height. So when you're brushing on your black layer, you want to use a white brush to go to reveal what you're trying to do. And we are going to go to the cheek. And then we want to get that detail, that detail black. I want my lips to look very bold very bold so I want to give it a that depth to have then I'll brush here and I might add a little extra to
So let us let us reduce this intensity of that red. Then let us add this. Let add this. Let's, let us add this. Let's work here. And we want to see. In most cases, you want to zoom out. Then I would want to get these shadows under her neck. have this shadow all the way here So I'm dodging right now. So remember that I said that we we'll dodge our white um our highlights and burn our blacks. And then you also want to, to dodge and burn the lips too. Oh wow! I'll need to dodge. I'll need to dodge this area into dodge area so you want to reduce your brush as small as possible when you're working on small places for your for you to be able to work and get that excellent touch you have to pay more attention to details <clears throat> so if before now you just want to work on that image and then deliver to a client or just want to work on it so that you post online i know you just want to stop that because it's not give you the result you desire so for you to get that amazing result that you see out there, is you need to put more work. Putting more work, that extra is what gives you that uniqueness in your work. So I'm, I'm going to just be combining them at this point in time so that I get that result I am looking for. So let's let's say that okay we're having more light at this point here. We're having more light at this point here. In most cases I dodge my eyes too. So you can take as much time as possible to just get that detail, that beautiful detail that you want on your skin. Little of the good. Okay, let's see what the results like. Right? Let us let us burn all these areas. All right. Okay. For this nose, I would want her to have this pointed nose. 
and many people would ask okay how can we get that result so one thing i'll do is i'll just add more bone to this side of a nose to have that thin feel okay so I'm actually supposed to be following the makeup artist drawing, but I sure don't know what I'm seeing on this nose. So I will just be creating what I, I feel is right. Like I said, the in the in our earlier videos, um, it seems it was the client that actually did her makeup. So we sure know that we'll not get that very perfect look. I'm just trying to see where my lights are falling so I get those very sharp details. I'm after those sharp details right now. If I go back and do the needful. I'm trying to get this my leg. Having that 3D, 3D feel. You alright? So you have to pardon me if this video is too long, it's just because I would want you to go through the whole process with me and learning how I would how I would want to get this result. Alright guys, so this is how to apply your dodge and bone on your image and making it look beautiful. Okay, so this is our before and this is our after. So if we would want to give it that realness, we want to reduce the group a bit and then voila, this is our image. So this is before, this is after. So you see, you, you have noticed how we made this image look beautiful and pop out. So our next video, we are going to, we are going to be looking at how we color grade this image. But before that, um, I think we're going to drop a video on how to retouch the eyes and how to do your eyes whitening and um, teeth whitening. So till we meet again, keep being creative.